Hi friends. A great part of intercession and prayer involves us growing in knowing the God whom we are relating with, seeking and praying to. And so welcome to today's podcast in this lesson on being prayerful. We're going to look at acknowledging and adoring the God that we pray to. I call it the ANA. You know, a person's name provides identity and representation. How well do we acknowledge our God whom we're calling out to? Do you know how incredibly powerful God's name is? A maturing prayer life in God leads to acknowledgement and adoration towards God for who He is. For His name reflects His identity and His character. In Exodus 15 verse 11, it says, Who among the gods is you, O Lord, who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? You know, when we acknowledge and adore God in prayer, it basically saying that we are recognizing, we are revering Him for who He is and the one whom we worship. He is indeed worthy of our adoration and praise. God is worthy of all honor, glory, above all in life. He is indeed the holy God. And He has the name above all names. At the mention of His name, it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, it says, Therefore God exalted Him to the highest place and gave Him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee, shall bow in heaven and earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And as we acknowledge God and lovingly do so through prayer, you learn to keep your focus on Jesus and His righteousness, no matter what life may throw upon us. You know, acknowledging and adoring God helps us to rise up in faith before Him, where we learn to overcome life through His help because He has made it possible for us. He has qualified us to be overcomers. That's why in Romans chapter 8, verses 37 to 39 says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I'm sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing because of who He is and what He has called us to be. And the various names of God grant us a better understanding of who God is, His character, His attributes. We love Him and serve Him because of who He is. So when we acknowledge His name, all these ones, we're inviting the Lord and trusting the Lord to represent and demonstrate those various characteristics of His name by His grace and power as we pray. So let's explore these powerful names of God. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. Genesis 22 verse 14 says, So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. God provides out of the goodness of his heart towards us. He is not obligated to do so, but he chooses to because of his love towards us. Despite our imperfections, despite our sin, as we come in repentance before God, God himself has provided salvation for us out of his mercy, out of his love towards mankind. I can really thank God for how he has provided for us even these days, you know, when we look at situations in the world, I thank God for the peace that we can have in where, in the city where we are in and continue to pray for God's peace upon various parts of the world as well. He is God, our provider in every way. He comes through to time and time again. Then another name of God is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner. Exodus 17 verse 15, it says, Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. You know, I would encourage you, 
in your prayer remember that god is your victory especially when we have been battling a very long time he is still our covering and he will continue to watch over us nothing escapes his attention as god neither slumbers nor sleeps I was praying for a friend recently who is a missionary overseas. She was undergoing tremendous spiritual battles and uh, well warfare that was happening. When I called upon the Lord, I said, God, you are Jehovah Nissi. You are the banner, the Lord, the banner over my friend's life. Lord, I pray and ask God that you would come, commander in chief, and cause those attacks to cease as we pray and cry unto you and praise God. She could literally tell me in that few, uh, you know, in that few hours after that, that everything lifted off. She could sense God coming through for her as the Lord, her banner, Jehovah Nisi. Another name of the Lord is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. In Judges chapter 6, verse 24, Gideon built an altar to the Lord there and called it, the Lord is peace. To this day, it stands in the Ophrah of the Abyssalites. You know, when things are difficult, uncertainty happens, and sometimes you just don't know what lies ahead of us. I want to encourage you as prayer warriors, pray and cry out to God, Jehovah Shalom, who can grant you peace even in the midst of all the you know, situations that are happening around you. Because His grace, His peace shall grant us stability and strength but we are required to trust him with our entire heart as we call out to him let your heart be postured in faith towards god of peace our god of peace in isaiah 26 verses 3 to 4 it says you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you trust in the lord forever for the lord god is an everlasting rock I was praying for someone who came up for prayer yesterday. This person was going uh, through tremendous pressure as one who is caring for her a disabled sister, juggling through family life and work. And as I was just praying for her, I just speak, you know, this name, the Lord's name of Jehovah Shalom, God who administers peace to his people. And he did. She was so so blessed by God's presence of peace, she was tearing, but she knew that God has ministered His love and His peace into her heart. There was that increasing inner strength in this person's life, and it topped up. God just topped up her emotional tank, for she just need the Lord to come in His peace into her life, and God did that. So we can call upon the Lord as Jehovah Shalom of our lives and let Him come and shower us with his peace. Another name of the Lord is Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is present. The Lord is there for us. You know, as we pray, we are not calling out and, and to, you know, into nothingness, but we are calling out to God, who is Jehovah Shammah, who is with us, the Lord who is present, so that we don't allow fear and doubt to cripple us. In Psalm 46, Verses 1 to 3, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, a very present help in trouble. God is not far away, but God who is, who is Jehovah Shammah, that He is present. You know, He is one who would draw near to those who call upon Him. And I want to encourage us, especially as intercessors, many times we call upon the Lord time and time again. Remember, He is near to those who are praying and seeking His heart. And He will come through for us as we pray for different situations. It could be your personal life. It could be for the church. It could be for your city, the community. It could be people that you are concerned with. He is present as we pray. Can I encourage you to remember the name of the Lord called Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord our host. Is Isaiah 48 verse 2 says, You who call yourselves citizens of the holy city and rely on the God of Israel, the Lord Almighty is His name, God the Savior, surrounded by His host of heavenly power. Do you know that our God 
He is the God of breakthrough. There is strength in His name. He is ever powerful. He is the commander in chief. As you call on Jehovah Sabaoth, trust Him, the Lord of hosts, to come to your rescue. Trust Him to come even with His legion of holy angels to minister to the lives of people. And a few other names, Jehovah Elohi Israel, the Lord God of Israel. 1 Samuel 15 verse 29 says, He who is the glory of Israel does not lie or change his mind, for he is not a man that he should change his mind. Praise God, our God is steadfast, that he keeps to his word, he keeps to his promises, he is not fickle-minded like we can be sometimes. He is constant and yet he is compassionate. That's why we can call upon the Lord Jehovah, Elohi, Israel, and say, God, would you come in this situation? You are steadfast. Keep us steadfast just as you are steadfast and constant. Another area I'd like to remind us, God is Jehovah Sitkenu, the Lord our righteousness. In Jeremiah 23 verse 6, it says, In his days Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called the Lord our righteousness. You know, sometimes when things are happening in different areas in the world, this is where we call upon the Lord Jehovah Sitkenu. Let his righteousness shine through and expose the darkness and begin to really cause the darkness to deplete and, and to really go away in Jesus' name. As we call upon him, when there's so much that is happening, let his righteousness reign even in our governments, our councils, our, you know, the places that we are in. Let his righteousness shine. Jehovah Sidkenu. One other thing, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. In Isaiah 61 verse 1, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. The name Jehovah Rapha means so much to this dear brother of ours, uh, he's a fellow intercessor. When he was diagnosed with throat cancer about two years plus ago, both him and his wife came and, and, and talked to me about it, and we prayed together. And I just call unto the name of the Lord, God, you are Jehovah Rapha. May you come and heal him. Lord, supernaturally sustain him, that all these cancer cells in the throat will be removed successfully, and also none of it to spread to any parts of his body. And we thank God that he went for a, uh, through a successful surgery and went for just very quick rounds of chemo. And after that, they, they checked him first year, second year and all that and uh, pronounced that there's no cancer in any part of his body. And we give praise to God because he is God who is also God Jehovah Rapha who works miracles and also works through medical signs. Another area is name of the Lord is Jehovah Rohi, the Lord our shepherd. Hebrews 13 verse 20 says, May the God of peace who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep. Do you know that our God is Jehovah Rohi, the great shepherd, the Lord our shepherd. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Friends, as you are continuing in prayer through times where you battle it through in prayer, we need to come back to our God, Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd, our great shepherd, to rest in Him. Because when we pray, when we intercede, it's not out of our strength, but it is partnering together with the Spirit of God and calling upon the Lord for breakthroughs, calling upon the Lord to come and intervene and answer the prayers and the cries of His people, calling upon the Lord to, to grant us the, the, the pathway out of whatever situation people may be in, and knowing that as we do so, as we battle on, He is one that can sustain us. He brings us to the quiet, still waters where we can rest, he brings us to green pastures 
where we can also feed from, where we, you know, our soul is being restored because of who He is, because He is the Great Shepherd. Another powerful name of God is Jehovah Hussino, the Lord our Maker. Psalm 95 verse 6, it says, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. God is our master designer. And I want to encourage you. Remember, He is the master designer, the grand porter. Will we give Him access even as intercessors and prayer warriors to mold us, to develop us in the way He sees fit? Will we trust Him with His plans and purposes? All of us have dreams, I believe. Many of us, we, we have different plans and, and, and as we come before the Lord. But it's so crucial for us to come before Jehovah Husino and say, God, you are my maker. You know my beginning. You know my end. And Lord, as the master porter, as the grand designer of my life, Lord, may you mold me, may you design me, may you purpose me and help me to walk in the very call and path that you have set for me. And this is where as we pray this, we are asking the Lord, may you come and show yourself this particular attribute of yours and lead us and guide us. So friends, as we acknowledge and adore God, let him know how much you love him. Let him know how much he's name, his character, his greatness means to you as you reflect upon all this. It will instill faith in your prayer life and help you believe the Lord even more so for his intervention. As we call unto his name, the different names of the powerful God that we serve, the Lord our maker maker of heaven and earth, the one who designed us, the one who molds us, the master portal of our lives, and the one who empowers us to pray and seek his face and, and immeasurably work in us through his powerful strength and his anointing. The Lord bless you as you practice calling upon the name of the Lord God Almighty for each particular situation. God bless.